All right, so we finished the box. Now we're gonna make and install the top on here. I wanna get into my nice standard view. So I'm gonna come up here to camera, standard view and pick top, and I'm gonna draw the top off to the side of this. Now my overhang on my project is gonna be a quarter inch on each side, except for the back. So I went 14 inches, so I'm gonna go 14.5, and then I'm gonna come down, I went 10. So we're gonna go 10.25 and back over 14.5 and up there. So this represents my top. Now what I need to do is rotate this around and pull this up to the right thickness. So I'm gonna pull this up to 0.5 inches or half inch. So this is gonna represent my top. And now what I gotta do is put my decorative profile or cut on there. So I'm gonna come down here to the edge and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Oops, that was maybe a little too much. And I'm gonna start by drawing a shape on here. I'm gonna come over 316. So I'm gonna come over three divided by 16, enter. And down three divided by 16, enter, and find those dots and connect them. Now this is gonna go all the way around the cat or to the top of the project. So I need to be able to see all the edges of the project. So I need to move it over. And now I'm gonna use tools, follow me. So I'm gonna click that until it's polka dotted, the part I want to move. And then I'm gonna drag it around all the way around all sides. And when it comes back over here, I wanna make sure I don't stop there, but all the way at the corner and it should slice off that top for me. All right, so now we've got that done. We're gonna to need to know where these holes are because we're gonna to have to install holes on the bottom of the top. So if we can zoom in a little bit here to take a look, we wanna know from the edge of the cabinet to the center of that hole, that's an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go an inch and three quarters because we added a quarter inch overhang on the bottom. So I'm gonna to come to the bottom here, zoom in, and I'm gonna go over an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna just draw a line straight across here and that should be a quarter inch in, 0.25. And that's going to be my center line of my holes. Then I'm going to come, <clears throat> come over 1.75. And that's going to be where that hole is going to intersect or the center of the hole, 1.75. So now I'm going to use my circle tool up top. If it's not there, you can click on that and choose which one you want. If it's on rectangle, we want circle. And I'm gonna click right on the center of that and pull it out. Now, if you remember, if you look down here at the bottom, this tells us we're working in our radius. So if our diameter is five millimeter, our radius is gonna be 2.5 mm, enter. And same over here, 2.5 mm. And then we can come in and erase these lines. We don't need any of these lines anymore. And we, whoops, I don't wanna erase the circle. And inside the circle, I do wanna get rid of the excess material, okay? So now I'm gonna to need to push and pull that again. So I'm gonna turn this down and I'm gonna push this hole up. It was 7.5 millimeter and up. Here again, up 7.5 millimeter, okay? So there's that, that part is done. We're gonna come back to the side now and we need a bevel to match the back of this. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna do a quarter inch bevel. And so I'm gonna come with my pencil and I'm gonna come up 0.25 and I'm gonna come with a pencil over 0.25 and then I'm gonna find those dots and connect those lines. Now I'm gonna use the follow me tool again under tools, follow me. And I'm gonna push this all the way over to the edge of the side. Now I'm getting a little where that circle was, I'm getting a little bit of, a, of an issue. So I'm gonna just rotate this a little bit 
until we can use that follow me tool. I'm gonna to try to hold my surface up on the top here. Oh, still wanting to do that. I'll try putting my line down on the bottom. There we go, the bottom. And I wanna make sure I stop right at this corner. So I'm gonna click. Now, before I do anything, I wanna make sure it's a nice fit over here, just an angle that it didn't travel down the edge at all. Because if that's the case, we'll need to fix that. And again, we have this little tab left over. We're gonna erase that tab. And now we can, since that looks good, we can group this together so that when we move it on top, it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna triple click on it. It makes just the top blue. You can see my background is not blue. And then I'm gonna control click or right click and do make a group. So now that we've made it a group, we're going to use the rotate tool and I'm gonna pick a point and another point and I'm gonna rotate this up. It doesn't have to be 90 degrees up, but it should be open enough that we can see those um, joints and stuff. We wanna see the dados and rabbits inside. So now that we have that positioned or opened up, we need to move this into place. So I'm gonna grab the four arrow move tool and I'm gonna grab the edge and just kind of try to get it into place for now. And then I'm gonna move this in and we're gonna get in closer here. And we may have to do some manipulating. You can see we're not quite. So as we look at those pieces, we're gonna to need to align. We can use that hinge hole to try to align and get that centered on there. And let's take a little bit closer look and see if that was able to do it. So we are touching right on that joint where that should be. Oops, not quite, I guess. So it might take some moving around to get this right where it should be. And we're gonna check it from the other side here. looks off a little bit as well. So we'll grab that and move it. And actually, if we take the center of that line and the center of that line should be the same. So that should got us where we need to be there. So now that that's on there and everything is trimmed and everything is um, follow me around, now you need to come in and do all your labeling and dimensioning. So you need to label the pieces, how long they are. We have rabbit joints here, how big is the rabbit and dado joints and fill out all those parameters so that someone can use this to build this project. How tall are the sides? How big are the feet? All of that information needs to be in um, this, the drawing here. So go ahead and make those um, make those on your plans. And then once you have this all done and finalized, then you can submit your work for a grade.